Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. If you like to build or repair guitars, I suggest you click that subscribe button down below, and you'll become part of a community of fellow luthiers, and together, we can take your skills to a whole new level. If you'd like to help support this channel, visit eGuitarPlans.com and buy a plan. Now on with the video. In this episode, I'm going to be covering part 10 of the Highland Guitars Laminate Top Guitar Build. And what that means is I'm going to be installing a hip shot hardtail guitar bridge, as well as drilling holes for mounting the string through ferrules. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is position the bridge on the body. And to do that, I'm going to measure from the 12th fret back to the point where the strings would first come in contact with the bridge saddles. And that measurement has to be half of the total scale length, which in this case is 25 and a half inches. Therefore, half of that is 12 and three quarters. So that's where I'll place the front of the saddles. Then I'm gonna take a length of sewing thread and I'm going to position it approximately where the high E and low E strings would contact the nut. And then I'll pull that back to the saddle on the bridge and that way I can check to make sure that the distance between the string and the edge of the fretboard is equal along the entire length of the neck. And once I'm satisfied that I have that bridge positioned correctly, I can then begin marking the position of the mounting screws. To mark the position of the mounting screws, I'm using this sharpened pin all that I found at my local big box hobby store. And then once I've got those uh, initial indications marked, I'll use a center punch to firmly mark the position where I need to drill the holes for mounting the bridge. To drill the pilot holes for mounting the bridge, I'm going to select a bit that is about the size between the core of this mounting screw and the outer edge of the threads. And of course, the depth of these holes is equal to the length of the mounting screw. Then I just need to mount the base plate, so I'll remove the saddles, and then I'll install the base plate onto the body with the two outer mounting screws. Then I'm going to use the string through holes in the base plate as a guide for drilling my string through holes. These will be drilled using a bit that's about the same diameter as those string through holes in the base plate. However, I will only drill them about three quarters of the way through the total thickness of the guitar's body. Next, I'm going to install a homemade pin guide drill plate onto my drill press. And the goal here is to position it so that the pin is directly centered underneath the point in the brad point bit that I will be using to drill my holes for the string through ferrules that I'll be installing into the back of the guitar body. And to protect the finish on the guitar, I'm going to place a paper towel over that pin guide so that the, the pin itself is sticking up through the paper towel. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see exactly what I'm doing here, but I think you'll get the idea. What I'm doing is I'm positioning the body so that that pin is inserted up into the string through holes that I drilled through the base plate earlier. Now, the bit that I'm using here to begin with is a 5 16 inch diameter bit, and it matches the diameter of the outer edge of the string through ferrules that I'll be installing later. And what that does is it allows me to recess the ferrules down into the body so that the back is completely smooth. After I've finished drilling the shallow 5 16 inch holes, I'll finish by drilling a quarter inch diameter hole 
down into the body where it meets with the string through hole that was drilled from the top side. This quarter inch hole equals the diameter of the outside of the ferrules that I'll be installing at a later date. And this is what those holes look like from the back side. They're perfectly straight. An often neglected element of installing a guitar bridge is to include a ground wire. And to do that, I'm going to drill a hole from underneath where the bridge plate will install onto the body. And I'll run that hole down into the pickup cavity. And I'm using an eighth inch drill bit here, drilling it at an angle so that that hole penetrates down into the lower part of the pickup cavity. And then from there, the ground wire can run into the uh, control cavity where it can be soldered to ground. And this is what all the holes look like on the top side of the guitar body. Well, as you can see, I haven't actually installed the bridge yet or the ferrules into the back of the guitar. And the reason is I still need to level sand, polish sand, and buff this finish up to a high gloss shine. And that's coming up in a future episode. So until then, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to post them down below. If you like these sort of guitar building videos, hit that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe. Be sure to support me on my eGuitar Plans website, and take care and I'll see you soon. <laughs>